Welcome to Keep It Simple Screen Printer. Today we're going to go over how to use the Kiwo Exposure Calculator. Now, our earlier video series, we were going over the Color Matrix Free Exposure Calculator, which we discussed is really more of a step wedge test. But it's free and it takes longer, but it will do a great job. It'll give you the same end results. What makes this worth right at $90? is the photo gradient scale. That's actually part of here. The, right now, the only way they can make that is the photo process. You can't inkjet print it, etc. And so then you have your film positive on top. So the light is filtered through the photo gradient. So we'll take this and we will just put this in our screen. This is 130 white mesh. I'll just tape it in place. And we're going to go double your exposure time. Right now we're going to, we have this sit at one minute on here, which is going to be more than enough time using the Vasek E200 LED. And close it down. Start. Once this is exposed, we're going to take it back to the washout area and we're going to develop the screen. And once we have developed it, we will let it dry and then we will read our exposure. So we'll be right back. So we just finished doing the exposure with the chemo exposure calculator. Nice thing about the you notes, know, we only had to do one exposure. We doubled the time we thought it was going to be and we Applied the exposure calculator, we exposed it for one time. That photo gradient, that expensive um, photo screen or photo film that's on the screen, filtered out the light. So now we're going to wet down our screen. screen down both inside and outside. I prefer to develop from the outside of the screen. It's where a thicker stencil is. It's less likely to break down than washing from the inside, which is where our, our thinnest bridge for bond adhesion to the mesh is. When we're going to be using the pressure washer, I'm going to keep the tip of the wand outside the booth. I don't want to get too close. I want to try to maintain a, a consistent distance from the screen as well as the consistent speed, I'm going to wash about three inches above the image to about three inches below the image. And because we are developing also half tones in here. So we want to try to expose everything at the same amount of time, same amount of pressure to get an, e an even development.
Now we're going to take this and put this in the dry vault so this you can dry, and then we're going to do an up-close examination of our portal screen results. Here. Now our screen is dried, and it's time to read our exposure test using the Kiwo exposure calculator. Now we can hold this up to light. You can also put this onto a light table. And we can look here, and we can see at 1 that we began to lose the bottom two blocks here. Um, uh, it's washed out here. 2 is looking better. 3, looking at our blocks. But this is still a little hard to read. What we're looking at, we can look here on this end, and we can see that we've lost here, here, and as you go farther down, you start seeing that we're losing information. These are filling in. They're not washing out. Everything's getting fatter. Um, we're losing detail. Now, if you're like me, the eyes are going a little bit. Just turn 50, so on that, I can take my camera here and get lined up on here broadcasting this up onto the tv screen behind me to make it easier for you guys to see as we discuss what we're looking at now we're looking at row one zero point one here and as we can see here at the bottom we notice that we've lost our little lines we'll compare this to row two see how the small lines go all the way down and on row one we have lost it as we scroll up we'll also notice that we've lost all the dots the half tones and the bottom two squares we've lost the majority of the ones here as well we can scroll over here on here and we can see that we've gotten better on our 20 percent on there on here all the way down to the bottom of our triangle we have got detail on our row point three it is um, here we're still looking well as we go up into our half tones we can see that all of our half tones and the squares are looking well and going in over here as well so we can come back over to row one and we can go up and we can see that we are underexposed. We've lost the detail on our fine angled lines and in our circle. As we come over to row two, things are much crisper. Row three, anything else, we're still looking good. These are the two best rows, row two and row three, both for the half tones and for our angled lines. Now we're going to go all the way over and we'll start coming and we'll see here that we start closing in. Down at the bottom here we start closing in our lines. At uh, point 8 we've almost lost. As we go farther across here and then you can see uh, the, the full one minute exposure time that we did indeed lose. We come up here and we're looking and we can see at the 10% um, exposure time here that we are closed in we've lost all of those dots that's overexposure and we can come back all the way over here to row two and three and we see we have a much better exposure result as we come back up here to the top we can go over we'll come over slowly back over to the fully or overexposed here and you can see that our lines have filled in up in here they've gotten smaller the same thing up in here we're losing detail but as we come across on there and we're back over to underexposed and these are our best two rows and they are 0.2 and 0.3 we were doing a one minute exposure time so that is 60 seconds so 12 to 18 seconds, so probably about a 15 second exposure time would be that. And that is how we read the Kiwo exposure calculator. I'm on that. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like or share. 
And as always, thanks for watching.